Hey guys, what's up? I am GojiFan1998 and welcome back for another new video for today. Today I am going to continue on for the next episode of GojiFan98's Toho Kaijuathon. Today I'm going to take a look at the Toho's 1987 movie, Princess from the Moon. Which is, this is my all time favorite movie and I really love this film. Everything all about, everything all about it, it was so awesome. So, <clears throat> Now, let me tell you about this movie as how much as we all have to know. The movie and the plot is a story that takes place in 790 AD. Where the story begins, it's all... It was actually... A, this movie was, was a co-production between Toho and Fuji Pictures to make this movie. It was based off the Japanese folk, folk tale, the tale of the bamboo cutter. And this movie is a mark the final time as Teriyoshi Nakano worked as a director of special effects after he finished his project. And also noted, on June of 2022 of this year, we lost Teriyoshi Nakano at age 87. But we will never forget how great talent he worked so hard for special effects director, including assistant special effects director. Now the only question is, does this movie have a monster in it? The answer is... Yes, there is a monster. It's a dragon. Now, according to some source, believing that um, the dragon puppet was actually reused puppet from the Nancy, the Loch Ness monster puppet, was supposed to be meant to be made for co-production between Toho and Hammer Production to make Nancy movie, but the project was canceled at the time when the script was completed. But I'm not sure if that source is true. But according to what I heard from according from this book here, John Lemay's book, the big book of a Japanese giant monster movies, volume two, it says here, um, Teriyoshi Nakano actually built a hundred thousand dollars Nancy prop before the production was collapsed for nineteen seventy eight for a Nancy movie. And the movie does have featured Tashiro Mafuni in this movie, if you may know who Mafuni is, and he was best known play as any samurai character from Toho Samurai movie, including the World War II movie, including he portrays Admiral Yanomoto in three three movies, in Toho, two of Toho movie and one of the American movie in 1976 Midway movie. And this movie had a feature, the first time ever, the actress who will later portrays Miki Sugusa in the, in the remaining of the Heisei Godzilla films for Godzilla with Violante to destroy her. This is her first time made appearance in the movie as well. And she went in a calorie award for a newcomer of the year. And Nakano was were, was won in a Japanese in calorie award for a special of, special award, along with some other people like Yagisuki Inoue, along others. And the princess, whose name is Kaya, was played by a saint actress who was portrayed as Miyoko Okamura in The Return of Godzilla, and later played as Erika Shiragami in Godzilla vs. Biollante. A lot of great performer and actor and actress we may recognize from other Toho movies, including several of the Godzilla films, but Toshiro Mufuni was never been in the Godzilla film. Never. But, and so that time. And also the feature, the music was not by done by, it is not done by Akira Fukube, it was done by other composer, which is I put in his description below, and the director did an amazing job. For my opinion, and also according from trivia for from this book, says that the dragon made one final appearances at the 1989 event in Hiroshima, the NTT Adventure Cruises Tre Treasure Island, which is that's pretty cool, interesting. So anyway, it was actually the film was released for so the first Toho's 55th anniversary production and it premiered it in Tokyo International Film Festival. And it was was received a huge succeed in the box office, and it went to the second highest grossing film in 1987. Well, until a year later, it was nominated for nearly every award at the Japanese Encounter Award, except except for the Best Picture, and won three awards. So, and it featured a song who was 
Sang by the same guy who made a song, Glory of Love, made an appearance in this movie. He was singing the song called Stay With Me, but it was only be released in Japan and never got official release here in America yet. But one day we will. But if you may know who I'm talking about, that he was done knowing that he made a theme song for the Karate Kid 2 movie, Glory of Love. So yeah, I have nothing else to talk about Princess from the Moon, and this is, will be, once again, will be handled for in lovely memory to Ter Teriyoshi Nakano, who passed away in June of 2022. He will never be forgotten as long as we can remember all his work he did so much. Will be on description below. If you can check it out for a read it along for more information. But we'd never get official a real release for this movie here in, outside of Japan yet. But one day we will. So that's all I have to say from Princess from the Moon. Stay tuned to the next episode. I will reveal Oroshi, the eight headed dragon for 1994. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.